Hello, welcome back everyone. It's another day of grinding to a thousand ELO and chess. Um, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be using a new opening. A lot of people have been complaining about my opening, which I totally get. I was mostly doing the old opening for fun. So I got some chess coaching yesterday and I'm going to see if I learned anything. I'm going to try the London system. I'm going to see if I remember it correctly. Um, so I think it's okay so far. So I'm protecting the pawn there. So far so good. I believe I have to move the knight over to e2. Or is that the queen knight? Um, in either case, let's see, let's see. I think we have plenty of options here so far. C4 is not an option. So probably D3 is going to be the play. Don't really want to block the queen in. Yet. I suppose that is defended. I'll defend the d4 pawn. I have a really early castle. I'm not sure why he went a6. Did he think I was going to go to a6 or something? Okay, so let's see. Do we want to let him take? Are there any threats besides just taking the knight on e2? I don't think there are. Maybe I just need to move my queen to demotivate him. I'm thinking about going c3 with the knight so I can recapture with the knight, but maybe that doesn't necessarily matter. My bishop's protected. I think I'll just castle. I think I'm fine to just recapture if he takes the knight there on e2. Not really sure what I'm missing there. Maybe I didn't really see what the grand plan was. Fine to push this back. Ah, I see. He'll probably capture on d4. Oh, I'm surprised. Ah, so he's basically trapped in my d3 uh, light square bishop there. So I wonder if I can do any more damage. Hmm. So if I give him check, he just moves his pawn down to g6, and then I don't really accomplish anything. Uh, I guess that does accomplish something. No, it doesn't. I have to fall back anyway. Bit of a rough start, I will admit. Maybe this looks strange. Maybe I can get like an early development going on the rook. I guess that's not the worst thing. Maybe I start trying to open this up, this area. Maybe I just push my pawn here to c4. 
So if he recaptures, I can if he recaptures, I can take with the knight. Maybe that's a plan. I do have check. Does it really get me anything though? I don't think it does. I think I'll just go for the attack on his pawn here. If he doesn't capture it, I'll probably just push it up and block his queen in from going this way on c5. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. I think I'm doing okay so far. I know he's up two pieces, but I feel like my pieces are a bit more developed than his. Maybe it's time to go for the check here. This will force his queen to move onto the A file or the B file. Let's see, can I really do anything after that? I do have this move. If I do, no, I don't. I don't have that move. This is a possibility. I think this might actually just be checkmate potentially, or pretty close to checkmate. If I take here on b6, he can either capture or move his king, but if he captures, I can slide my queen over to g4, and then I'll have two attacks going on the diagonal, which seems pretty powerful. I think I'll just try that. Hopefully he takes it and doesn't just move it. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay. Maybe I can start to develop pressure with the rook here. This would be check. Uh, now his knight is pinned as well. I guess his knight is actually free at the moment then. I can always just attack his knight. Okay. Fall back. I do like my position. If he jumps to f5, he'll fork my bishop here. So I think I still have to defend f5. I think this is really the only place I can go to make sure he doesn't jump his knight. And unfortunately, I don't have checkmate yet. 
Actually, no, I think that is checkmate. Since his knight is pinned here. Yeah, I think that's just checkmate, right? I have a little bit of time, so I'll think about this. So his his king is pinned by um by my rook. Sorry, his knight is pinned by my rook. See, if I go here, he can't go d8. He can't go c7. He can't go here. The rook's not protecting. The queen's not protecting. The rook can't do anything. Yeah, I think this is just checkmate. Nice. That was a pretty clean win. Wow, six blunders. Yikes. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting to win that one. He was so far ahead. Um, what was he? Six points up in material. Yikes. Lousy ratings by the both of us. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I got a 550 game rating. He got a 200, which I'm surprised because it seemed like he had a big advantage, but I guess he was just making bad plays, but so, so was I. Um, let's see if we can find some errors. Let me see if I can understand why moving the queen to h5 is the play there. Because I figured he could just move his pawn. And then where would I really go after that? I mean, attacking the pawn doesn't really make sense because he can just recapture. So let's see. Oh. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I didn't really notice the fact that my uh, bishop was protecting g g6 there. So yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. Well, okay. Noted, noted. Yeah, I totally was not paying attention to that. But no, that's a, that's a nice move though. Yeah, I guess in this possession, possession, in this possession, in this position, I was trying to avoid pushing any of these three pawns to kick his bishop back, uh, since I wanted to keep my king nice and safe. Whoa, sorry about that. So let's see what the moves here are. So he falls back, and then we just continue to... Fight for the center. I don't think we would have made those moves, let's be real. <laughs> so taking with the queen there was the play. That's good to know. Yeah, I felt like having the bishop on d3 here was a applying a lot of pressure to these open diagonals, so I didn't really want to move him back because he seemed less useful on e2 so that makes sense okay so i think this is a blunder because it still wants us to do this same um checking routine here interesting i know this says that this is an inaccuracy Ugh, I keep pushing down. I know it says this is an inaccuracy, but it seemed like in the long run, this rook paid off because it provided the pin on uh, the knight that he eventually had on the D file. Moving the um, moving the knight to d2 ultimately paid off because of this attack right here. Um, it basically opened up the d file. Yeah, this is one of the things, um, if you go and watch my previous video, um, the little coaching that I had with the redneck chess club, um, he kind of made these pointers that if his king is in the center, that it's worth trying to open the files up, which is what I was trying to do more. In my previous games, I would kind of fight off 
on the sides of the board a lot more but i was trying to kind of battle for the center a lot more in this game and i, and I feel like that's kind of what won the game ultimately yeah this is a bit of a weird play i think he would have been better off just yeah moving his king yeah i remember kind of mentioning in the game that i was hoping that he would capture with the pawn because um i kind of thought that that was like a trap because really what i was trying to do was just open up this diagonal here which he kind of went for so him capturing with the pawn basically opened his king up for attack on these two open diagonals which ultimately won the game i'm surprised this is a mistake hmm. so it wanted me to get my rook out basically Interesting. I thought this was a good move. Yeah, really, that, that should have been his play was trading queens there since he was so far ahead, since he was five points ahead on material. But I guess he just didn't recognize that. And he just um, ran his king instead to the B file. Yeah, he seemed like he was just afraid to get rid of his queen. That was a blunder for obvious reasons because there was mate in one. Yeah, his king was very exposed. His king was not very well defended on this position here. So yeah, that was a good game. Um, it's always nice to win a game when you're down so many pieces. So this was a fun one. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.